school children, how have you all been? Good. 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 Have you heard about the story of the young girl who saved all the Jews of the Persian Empire? Wow, she saved all the Jews. Who is she? What was her name? Is it Izzy? Oh no, is it Emily? Esther. 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 Okay. Guys, how did she save all the Jews? I mean, we're talking about one girl by herself saving thousands of people. Well, it all started when the king of Persia was looking for a new queen, and he was most pleased with a humble yet beautiful lady named Esther. Queen Esther was a Jew who was raised by her cousin Mordecai. Mordecai, so when Mordecai didn't wish to bow down, he bow down to this mean guy called Haman, there was about to be trouble. The man's pride was hurt and he decided that he wanted to kill all the Jews of the Persian Empire. Haman planned to do to this by, by convincing the king to sign a decree which states that all Jews will be attacked and killed on the 13th month of Adar. Mordecai and Esau complained up as stated and they decided to fast and pray so God can help them. After fasting for three days, Esther decides to stand before the king to seek help from her people. But kids, if Esther approaches the king without his permission, she can be sentenced to death. Esther didn't care. She chose to be courageous so she can save her people. So she stood before the king and he gave her permission to speak. Esther organized a banquet for Haman and the king to attend to. That night, the king had a nightmare and was unable to sleep. So the king read the chronicles that night, and he remembered that Mordecai saved his life and wished to reward him. At the same time, Haman was planning to kill Esther's cousin, Mordecai, by hanging him on the gallows he built. So at the banquet, Esther told the king about Haman's evil plan to kill the Jews. The king got so upset that he ordered for Haman to be killed. Mordecai receives Haman's house as a gift and the signature ring that allowed him to make a loaf for all the Jews to be protected against Haman's evil plans. Now that the story of how Queen Esther saved the Jews from the Persian Empire with God's help, of course. Well, you guys are amazing. I learned a lot from the story of Esther, especially to trust God's plans for us. Well done, well done, kids. Yeah, I agree with you, Sandra. The kids were great. I think we should show everyone what these amazing new three and new four kids have learned from the story of Esther. <laughs> is perfect. He gives us the time to fulfill his will by our own actions. This is like what Esther did when she fasted to protect her people and God granted her request. I learned that I shouldn't do what everyone else does because it is the easier thing to do. Just like when Mordecai did not bow down to her men, I should stand up to any evil I face in my life, even if it is taking the harder way than taking the easy way out. My crown on my head represents Esther, and I have drawn a um, church on my crown because, be because Esther represents the church. I learned that God is always with us and always has a plan for 
just like his victorious plan for Esther and the Jews. Haman tried to harm Mordecai by putting him to death on the gallows. The gallows built for Mordecai's death became Haman's. My crown on my head represents Esther. I have drawn praying hands, bread and water. This implies because she, because Esther always prays and fasts whenever she needs something. I learned that God uses everything and everyone for a purpose, even evil. God was able to turn a man's evil plan into a situation that made the Jews have favour in the king's eyes. I learned that obedience can save us from perishing. Esther obeyed, and by her obedience, many incense souls were saved from Haman's hand. I learned that fasting and prayer is a weapon that helps us through difficult situations, and Esther knew that by fasting and prayer, God will guide her to do what is right. What I learned about Mordecai is that he he was faithful and he had faith and he didn't even uh, bow down to others except God. And the what I have on my signet ring is a cross and I have a bird on the side. A bird on the side here. The bird represents the Holy Spirit and the cross represents Mordecai. <laughs> will take courage like when Esther was courageous enough to stand before the king and plead to save her people, even if that means she would perish. I have drawn a cross on my ring because it represents the faith of Mordecai. My crown on my head represents Esther. I have drawn a lion and this symbolizes Esther because she was very, very brave to stand up to the king. She risked her life to save her people, she said. And so I will go to the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. I also drew a church as a symbolized our church because just as it was the bride of the king, so is our church the bride of the king of our King Jesus Christ. Well, but that represents the Holy Spirit that God has given us just as the king gave Moroto the, the ring. Esther didn't care. She chose to be courageous. Can we start again? So she stood before the king and he gave her permission. Per, permission? So at the banquet, Esther told her man, Oh no! At the same time, her man was planning to kill... <sighs> Many unsent un souls saved from... Now that's Queen... Now that Queen Esther is the make a law for all the Jews to be no. Good morning, wonderful children. How have you all been? Save the the Jews' life of the full. Fr Esther. Hey. Say bye. Who was brave and a beautiful queen She heard a terrible plan Of someone who